if we jump into the Linux profile um, to really talk about the kind of core technology and the magic that's happening under the hood, the simple example of the web, you can see the behavioral scores and the interests. For a more complex use case, if I go into our product, what we call Conductor, which is all about pipeline management, um, and go to a, a user that has a bit more of a robust graph, Dorothy Robinson, you'll see what Linux is actually doing under the hood is building an identity graph. So on the right-hand side are all the different identifiers um, that we've been able to associate with Dorothy Robinson. These are going to be dependent on the different sources that you've connected, the channel data, all of those kind of things. But in, in a perfect world, you're going to have a number of cookies that sort of represent that anonymous identifier. As we scroll down, we're going to see you know, ESP information. We'll see loyalty information. Maybe it's offline data. All of those things are leveraged to, to build ultimately what you see on the left-hand side, which is Dorothy's identity graph. So this is a representation that says somewhere along the line, we've been able to associate a Zappos ID with a loyalty ID because we've done that. We can associate loyalty ID with email ID and so on and so forth. And what that unlocks is not just a profile representing Dorothy's activity on one channel on the web or an email. It allows us to sync all of that stuff together into one really, really robust, comprehensive unified profile that represents all of Dorothy's activity across all of those channels and then surfaces that in the places that you want to consume it to leverage it. So you could push it to your analytics tools, to your ad tools, back in web personalization, which you were starting to see in the, the initial part of the, the demonstration. All of this information can be made available in real time to power those use cases. Um, one of the things that we'll touch on briefly um, is a way that we can supercharge this information is not just web data, but it's all of your other source channel information. So how do I connect my ESP? How do I pull in a CSV of offline data? Lytx provides hundreds of out-of-the-box connectors. Um, so we have a catalog, pre-built um, pre integrations that our data scientists, our data managers have actually configured. So what that means is not just can we pull in the data from, say, Shopify, We've actually gone through, analyzed the content and the information that can come in from Shopify and predefine how that should map into your schema. So we do the heavy lifting on what attributes are available, what identifiers come in to ultimately make that mapping work. If you are sophisticated again, or if you have a unique use case, all of that tooling to define fields and configure mappings and cleansing and all that kind of stuff is available. But we find most cases you can connect the data in a few clicks, you authenticate, you pull it in, and all of a sudden your profile becomes more and more robust to, to facilitate use cases. Conductor alone, the, the sort of pipeline side of things is a tool that we could talk about for hours and hours on end. Um, but at a high level, again, we're all about building the profile. And then I really want to transition to talking about how you can start to leverage that profile in a few common use cases, and specifically what we're doing uniquely with Pantheon and Drupal to make that even easier in the tools that um, you're most commonly using.